Hi, it's Juliana Coles, and I'm back to work on my C Post postcards. For those of you who donated to my Pirate Queen's Artist Residency Fund. So as I get back to work, I want to talk a little bit about mail art. I've been doing mail art since 1987, and I have some things that I've been collecting since then that help me create my mail art. So I usually start with, I guess I call these the fronts, and Sometimes it's easier to start here because it has a two, it has a two label, a from label, some postage here, and then space for a note. So it has some knowns, some place that I can start as I get to work. So I've been collecting these labels, and I have these little cool boxes that I like to use for that. Um, these are in here. Um, I don't do this a lot. This is actually pretty old where I created my own postage stamps. You can do stuff like that. Um, vintage gummed labels, these are all fun. And then I have a couple of these little boxes that are just full of different kinds of labels that I find or you know make or collect from places. I mean, remember, some of these are stickers that I've been collecting since um, I was 14. This is actually from my dad's old business. So this is going to be like from the 70s. I still have it. Most of this stuff I just hoard. I don't use it. Um, this is from, if any of you guys kept, we called them our Chandlers living in Evanston, Illinois. And these have, you know, they were just for your little um, notebooks of assignments. And we used to draw on each other's notebooks and put in stickers and stuff. That was really fun. So these two are these labels. Then you also have to have your postage. Again, I've been collecting this since I was 14. Um, that's not postage, but that could be a cool um, cancellation stamp on there. Just Or this looks sort of like a like a cool old seal or something. And I have some um, ship stamps that I collect, stickers about postage, again, labels. These don't go in here. These don't go. Labels, decor. Um, you can buy these kind of little guys at Hobby Lobby. That's fun. And then this little book, a friend of mine um, who's no longer with us made this cool little envelope book and so each one I have let's see Mexico postage stamps USA architecture pirate you know so it's probably got ships and shells and stuff different little postal things that I'm you know collecting envelopes stamps etc so I have some in here because I have little ones that I like to take with me on the road because when I travel I like to make postcards this is a cute little vintage um, postcard uh, I mean postage stamp collector and it has these cool little envelopes I mean like shelves kind of that you put things in I guess I'm not really using that but I have stuff in here I love this little book and I also collect stamps to where I go like I got these in Morocco and those are really cool C stamps so I use those I have some stamps in this box stickers and other things so I can use these oh that's really cool look how cool that is maybe I'll leave that up um, oh I guess I have some more labels that are in here just different things in cool little fun boxes that I like to hang on to and I have more drawers of stamps. You know, I collected them since I was a little kid, and people have always given them to me. So I also have my fun um, mail art uh, postage stamps. So these are um, mainly Egypt and different kinds of Arabic post. I got some really cool. I love these. These are really cool. And this little box. Um, this little box. So I stave all my stationary boxes and stuff these are more like general cancellations this was cool this is oh I'll take this out this says artist in residence that's awesome okay that's really good and I'm just gonna leave this here because I use it so usually I keep these like this because I'm using them um, and then this box is my pirate post or what I think 
you know, could be used as pirate posts. So some of it is like, I have, um, you know, this is like Blackbeard. Somebody made this. So I have some cool things. I have some um, Bermuda cancellation ones. One's from the Bahamas. I don't see it. So, oh, here it is. This one's from the Bahamas. I think this one's a cancellation from the Bahamas. So these are all my cool, fun um, cancellation stamps that I add to these. And that gives it a little more flavor of the post. So if I was going to put these through the mail, just like this, I would add my real postage maybe here, you know, here or here, somewhere where that it fits, and then have it hand canceled. Because people are paying a lot of money for these, I'm probably going to put these in a plastic sleeve and then um, put the address and the postage on the outside. I mean, I haven't really decided yet. And then I like to use my stays on stamp pads because they're permanent and um, it won't bleed if I, you know, change my mind on some of the colors here. Um, but this side was easier for me to get started. So right now I'm just going to go through and see if I can, you know, if an area needs, you know, do I have space to write a letter? I mean, a little note. Do I have my to from label? Uh, what, what do I need? What's still missing here? maybe a little ship or something. So I'll see what, what needs to happen with these to get them going. I'll see what needs to happen on these uh, before they can set sail and get shipped.